hey guys welcome back to another video and today we have a new update for redmi y2 and many other xiaomi devices which is a global beta update version 8.7.12 and here is a list of all the xiaomi devices which is receiving these updates and also we have two files one will be the recovery file and other will be the fast boot file Recovery file can be installed using updater application and does not require to unlock the boot loader. And if you already have global beta on your device then you should receive an OTA update as I received on my Y2. I have already updated my device so let me show you the software information first going to about phone. And here you can see model number is Redmi Y2 Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 1st June 2018. And MIUI version is global beta 8.7.12. So this is the latest beta update available for Xiaomi devices, which is based on MIUI 10. Talking about the change logs, only here we have two change logs available. One is the improved system stability and the second one is optimized system performance. So as usual, Xiaomi does not mention much of details about their changes, but there are few changes done here, which we'll take a look now. So the first noticeable change what you'll have is when you swipe up you get a search bar at the bottom. So this is a new thing which they have added on this latest build. Swiping up directly will pop up the Google search engine and where you can search anything over here. So this is one noticeable change and now going inside setting and one more change what you'll notice is now security status has been shifted on the top of the setting panel which was previously at the bottom. After this update, the device also supports LDAC audio technology which is from Sony. And if you want to have that, you can just go to the additional settings. You will find a developer option over here. Scroll down and go to Bluetooth audio codec. So here you can see you have few codecs available like SBC, AAC, APTX, APTX HD. And here is the new technology what they have introduced that is LDAC. And this technology really improves the sound quality on your Bluetooth devices. Just enable this and you can start listening to music. With this update, they have also updated their security application. You can see new animations available here and which is pretty cool. Under security application, not everything has been updated like cleaner app. You can see it remains the same older one. Security scan UI has been updated here. Under battery which remains the same. Data usage, slight improvements there also UI changes. And other than this, there are no changes done. And under Smart Assistant, you also get an option now to check the train PNR. So if you are traveling with the train, you can directly enter your PNR number and get the details about your PNR. And the last change what I have noticed over here is under Recorder application. So now Recorder application supports three formats that is AAC, MP3 and WAV. Before there were only two recording formats, now they have added one more that is MP3. So guys, these are the changes what I have found on this latest build and if you have noticed any other changes then do let me know in the comment section below. Now talking about the benchmark results. Under Geekbench application, the device scores 850 in single core wherein multi-core scores 4366. With Antutu Bench application, the device scores 75,562. So guys, these were the things on this latest update and if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day